wonder what the max level is on this game. Oh well. I'll find it out at some point. Oh dude, I know exactly where to put these. Oh, maybe I don't. No, the gate's one too wide. Okay, secondary place I know exactly where to put. The Drakis. One. Two. Dang it, they're the wrong direction. There we go. So I'm just gonna leave them there, and then eventually we'll get the third one. We'll figure it figure out how it works. Uh, let's see, and yes, I can make more of each if I wanted to, but I don't. Not right now. Uh, let's see, so first order of business. For tomatoes. We got plenty of plenty of this. Let's put that away. I don't think I need the ladders right now. So we need wheat, if I remember right. Like 50, 50 some odd wheat. Oh, that's all. That's just all my sugar cane. Did I put all my wheat in here? I did. Uh, let's see. Let's take out like half of it. Let's take out six, 60 of it. That should be good enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now we're now we're properly well. They're cooking, so I don't have to. We wanna. I've forgotten how to do these things. Okay, we want to warp to view map. Not the orc's tomato farm. We want to go to the clifftop cabin and bribe the dude. Let's see. Can you dig a tunnel under your farm? Uh, yes, I can. I have an underground uh, restaurant, and I also have, um, have an underground restaurant. Ooh, that's actually a decent supply for stone. Let's just go bash these for a bit. Uh, I have an underground restaurant, and I also have a uh, killing chamber where most monsters should fall when my town gets attacked, if I'm lucky. If anything, you actually want to build up, though, generally. Like, Sky Town is way, way easier to work with than, than Underground Town. Welcome back, wayward child. I see you have brought the 50 sheaves of wheat I demanded. Let us wait no longer. Rel relinquish your crop at, one crop at once. Marvelous, magnificent, masterful. Never before have I seen a more enticing sight, nor one so wicked. As you know, any act of creation is strictly pre pre prescribed. Huh? You're on furrow field, and yet we would obviously starve without food of some sort. Many gather seaweed from the beaches or find fallen fruit from the trees. But I do not care for the taste of either option. The children of Hargon teach that all must be destroyed. Yet some in the upper echelons balk at the recent rate of destruction and seek to reverse the trend. But that too is to be welcomed. For is it not the breaking of rules, of norms, of the very rules of our illustrious order itself? Not the truest form of destruction. Whatever the case, the overseer of the island, the prim primate of Furrowfield, shall be returning here soon. I only hope the pastor returns to us first. Ah, oh, it almost slipped in my mind. I promise to reward you for ye yielding your crops. The pot is yours. Will you be dashing it to the ground immediately, or saving the pleasure for later? I have got the bottomless pot. Scoop up water and slosh it out. Okay, master the wet stuff with this impressive vessel. Tap R2 to scoop up water around you and then R2 to pour it out again. Does it change types or? I have no idea. Pastor Al knows all there is to know about Furrowfield, and we could not ask for a wiser leader. If he were here, I would ask him to reveal to you the secrets of the accursed Deatry, or the foul farm that formed around it. But he is not, so why are you still here? Do you have some business with me? What? You thought I looked like I had a job for you, so you're offering to help. 
Perhaps I misjudged you. Could it be that you are not the vile and evil being I previously took you for? Well then, my wayward child, do you see that reservoir over there? As you can see, the water at once stored is now long gone. But using that pot I entrusted to you, you could gather water from the nearby bog and refill it. Water abounds at the foot of the cliff. Climb down there, collect some water, and use it to fill the two areas I will mark out for you. If you wish to learn more about the workings of that pot, simply speak to me again and I would be happy to provide a more detailed explanation. I think he might need swamp water. Now that I'm thinking about it. The longer you hold it down, the greater area you should fill. Oh. Let me hold it down though. Oh, it's still in scoop mode. Huh, weird. Oh. Okay. So now it's properly bottomless. This is mildly confusing. You need to collect some water first. It just looked like I had water. Because I, I was I was definitely pouring water out. So it didn't seem like it was dry. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's probably working now. There was also the well directly next to him, but maybe... I don't know. I'll try using that like little well next to him and seeing if I can scoop water. Okay, so that works. Or is it bottomless now? It looks like it's just bottomless now. Okay, that's confusing. So this this little basin next to him is not actually filled with water. Yeah, it just looked like I was grabbing it because there is a water animation of it going in. can, in fact, make sluice gates. Okay. What's this? Did this lead anywhere? The answer doesn't seem to be. There's, like, maybe something under there? I don't know. Oops. Wrong one. I'm just going to continuously add water to this entire area. Supposedly the uh supposedly this whole thing's supposed to be filled with water, so why not? I wonder if you can actually just flood the world. Oh interesting, it also doesn't update where the water goes until you're done with it. Well, it looks pretty gross, but that's also kind of how this works. Ah, oh, the wayward, wayward child returns, and I noticed the reservoirs have been filled with water. I take it we have you to thank for this. Let me offer you a token of my appreciation. I hope I can trust you not to let the pastor know I carried such profane items on my person. But perhaps my greatest gift to you is that pot. May it serve you well, and may you have mastery over all your liquids to the end of your days.
And we've got a new recipe, Suskate. Suskate! Squeak! You got some guts walking, or waltzing up here, human. This house belongs to one of the higher ups in the children of Hargon. Say, human, you don't have anything to eat, do you? I may have a big belly, but it's emptier than ever. I could collapse at any moment. Tell you what, if you bring me 10 cabbages, then I'll give you some sugarcane seedlings in exchange, Squeak. How's that sound? Squeak, Squeak, did you really go and fetch some cabbages just for little old, a little old mouse like me? You're too kind. Well, can I have them? Squeak, thank you so much. Here you go. These are for you, as promised. But be careful, all right? Making things is forbidden, so don't let the pastor find out I gave you those. And definitely don't let him know you've been growing cabbages. I wouldn't be wandering around so carefree if I were you. This island doesn't belong to humans anymore. It's the children of Hargons now. And we fat rats are Hargon's favorites. At least I think we are. There's no real evidence for it, but it's a fact, Squeak. And I think we deserve our fair share of recognition. Ten sheaves of wheat should serve as tribute. I have a few seedlings I could give you in return. Oh, what's that smell? Did you bring me the wheat I asked for? Come on, then. No need to stand on, stand on ceremony. Just hand them over. Squeak, squeak. I can't believe that worked. I could eat today. Ever since the children of Hargon ruled out making new things, it's been harder and harder to find food. We're all really hungry. Well, I said I'd pay you, and I'm bereft of my word. Here you go. I hope you can grow them into something edible. I like the little side quests in this. Most are just kind of fetchy, but you know what? Whatever. Question. Can I... I can break these. I probably don't want to, but I could just destroy the, the priest's... Much of the priest's house if I so, so chose. Which would be interesting. This is not filling out in the way that I was envisioning it would. Okay, there we go. I wonder if we have any clean water somewhere on this island that I can pull from. Because most of the water around here sucks. I'm looking at a very hard no. It sucks a bit. I mean, unless this doesn't count as seawater. Small chance it doesn't. Well, nothing for it. Time to find out. Can't scoop it up yet. I am disappointed. Oh, what's this? We don't know what that is yet. Either way, we want to go back to uh, Furrow Field Farm. Yeah, Furrow Field Farm. Dude, you're back and looking happier than ever, too. Does that mean you found the seedlings we need? And I see you've retrieved the bottomless pot from my cottage. Very good. Now we can begin work on growing the sugarcane seedlings. Which reminds me, Rosie, did you not claim to be the finest farmer in Furrowfield? I find it curious you know not how to grow something so simple as sugarcane. Oh, um, when I said I was the finest farmer, I actually meant the finest farming apprentice. Well, technically the fi finest farming apprentice to be. That will not do at all. Let me train you. I can teach you all you wish to know about the art of agriculture and the history of this land. Really? Really, really? Yippee! I'm so happy I could pop! Did you hear that, dude? I'm gonna be a Pastor Al's apprentice. I'm finally gonna become a proper farmer. Alright, dude, let's plant those sugarcane seedlings. Master Pastor Al! Mm-hmm. So, my apprentice, you wish to know how to grow sugarcane. The secret is to plant them in a field that is fully submerged in water. Simply place a scarecrow within the water as you would any other field, and plant the seedlings around it. I see. So that's why you sent Dude to collect the bottomless pot, so that you can pour the water on our new sugarcane field. 
I shall train young Rosie in the specifics. Should you wish to know more, I suggest you consult with her. Come on, dude, let's get started. Make an underwater field. Plant some of those sugarcane seedlings in it and wait for them to grow. Hmm. I don't really have a whole lot of farmland left that I can pull from. So I need to make a new field. This one is prepared, but bad. Monsters have appeared. Okay. So... On one hand... The moat didn't work the way I wanted it to. On the other hand, it worked even better than it possibly could have. Oh, breath cage got a bit bigger. That's kind of cool. So yeah, so these guys straight up can't do anything. And that's kind of beautiful. This this whole moat business worked way better than I thought it was going to. Hmm. Because if I give him myself more space... Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this tree. This area back here is perfect. I'm just gonna move everything around for a bit. Because we should have enough space back here. It's kind of out of the way, but that's fine. Everybody can handle almost all of the planting and moving and so on and so forth. Nope. We're not scooping. Okay, we can get rid of those. But yeah, I'm just gonna make a nice natural-ish border of these things. Huh? Nope, that didn't work. Come on, pick it up. Let's see. If I really wanted to, I could actually... Oh, you know what? We should actually start uh, converting things over to grass. Instead of even, even bothering with this. Because I have a whole bunch of grass seeds, and I know where to get more. Okay. So let's, let's go get a uh, scarecrow. Plonk it down, then we'll just flood the field. Oops, that's, that's not what I want to do. We might as well make three more. I guess I really only needed two more, but who knows where I'm going to be. Well, I have at least two more farm fields that I can put down. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to ring this in with a, a wooden barrier. 
There we go. And we'll flood the field. And we will have a nice sugarcane farm. Man, this, this placement is perfect. I didn't even mean to do this. I love it when that happens, though. Oh, wow. That is... That is huge. Okay, and you're going to be... Huh. Do I have to plant the sugar cane myself? I, I guess so. Okay, so that means I should be able to... Nope. I guess they can't plant sugar for whatever reason. They can plant everything else. But I guess I gotta do this myself. I'll plant what I can and then I'll put the rest in a chest. And hopefully they'll learn how to do it soon. Maybe I have to turn the quest in first. Okay. Should be good. I guess, uh, let's see. No, let's go here. Transfer all of that. Do we have any other seeds? We do, actually. We have quite a lot. Or, no, we want the tomato seeds. Because I don't think we can even grow them yet. But that doesn't mean... That's not going to stop me. Sequence breaking is what I do best, always. Dude, look, our sugarcane has sprouted. It looks like you've got the hang of making fields and water, just as I expected from our resident builder. Maybe it's my imagination, but the sugarcane already smells so lovely and sweet. I bet we could make some really delicious food out of it. And not only that, I could stick a piece of my uh, piece up my nose and enjoy this wonderful sweet smell every minute of every day. Mm-hmm. You would be better served by sleeping with sugarcane seedlings in your ears. From the morning, you'll find a pair of fully grown plants sparting from your nostrils. I jest, I jest. Don't put your nose out of joint. Well, now that we can... Now that we know how to grow sugarcane, we can plant as much as we like. And best of all, we don't have to spend time watering it. We've got three types of crops on the grow now, but we still need two more. If I find out where to find any more seeds, you'll be the first to know. Okay, so, uh, let's see. So we can make those, we can make that. We can also make benches. Bunting. Oh, for a festival. Cool. A doormat, some other things. I thought there was something that was actually kind of handy that I could make. We haven't tried making these yet. I'm gonna make a couple. We'll see what that does. Yeah, there's also the plank path pathways and bridges. And yes, yeah, sluice gates. Oh, right! Okay. Nope. Doesn't look like it can stand on these. Does mean that I can make a pretty wicked looking wall, but I don't take damage on it. Might still be kind of handy, though. Uh, let's see. What can I make? So we need noit, uh, noit soil. Night soil, if I want to get that. We already gave him his spiked club, so that's not helpful. Okay, right. We were going to make this room into a thing. You know what's disgusting? This room. Uh, let's see. So we want to grab the pot and the door. 
think it was the pot. Tiny toilet with the dining a dining area in it. They're very happy about this. I can't wait to see somebody eating in there. <laughs> oh god. That's bad. I should not I should not be in charge of people's well-being. That's never a good idea. Okay, so now that we've done that, I guess let's go talk to her. Yo, dude, what's up? <sighs> huh? You reckon I look kind of tired, like worn out? <sighs> look, I'm totally stoked that the farm's coming along so well. <sighs> These fields and crops and stuff are seriously lit. <sighs> but the whole place stinks like a bathroom with B.O. I have to, like, hold my breath to stop myself from blowing chunks in my own mouth. <sighs> Can you help me out, fam? Like, build... Uh, some kind of bathing building or whatever. Ugh. I know you got mad skills. Can't you scribble up a blueprint for a bathroom then build it? <sighs> but a basic bathroom isn't enough. For a girl like me, you gotta finesse the place. Ugh, make it super stylish. I don't care where you put it. Just lay that blueprint down wherever you think it looks cool, okay? Bathhouse blueprint. Oh, a bathhouse. And we've also learned how to make a basic bathtub. You can lay the blueprint wherever you like if you prefer to move it elsewhere. Uh, yeah, that's not... That's a... Considerable bathhouse. You know what? How do I? How do I move it? I guess awkwardly. Oh. That's that's how you see. Okay. This should work. I'll just make it a bit bigger once we once we're done. Okay, so what do we need? We need a pot or wash tubs. Okay, so I, I gotta I gotta build some things. Uh Take these back. Now, can that guy even get in at this point? Malroth will try and punch him, but it doesn't actually it doesn't actually look like he's got much of a chance here. And it looks like the tomatoes are in fact growing, so this has generally worked out for me. Okay, so we want to build a bunch of these. I like the fact that it actually tells you what you're going to need. Also, I can make padded floors now. I don't know where I'm going to use that, but I wouldn't mind tearing up the floor on something and make a nice uh, padded floor for a house. Let's see, drapery door. Simple stool.
I wish each of these rooms that we we built actually had like an immediate tangible benefit. Like it looks nice that we're building it, but normally I'm not going to go out of my way to build a bathhouse. Maybe maybe there is actually a benefit to this. But like it would be kind of neat if each room gave you like a small stat bonus. And so you had kind of a, a general reason to want to build sev several of them. Let's see, bravery door. Let's see, what else do we need? Where's the towel rack supposed to go? Well, first I should probably get the walls down. Okay, so break these up. Yeah, this should work fine. I'll just put a staircase where that treasure chest is, I think. Uh, that'll just be how this lays out. I might expand it by one once we're done. Just so it actually fits fits totally on the roof, though. Okay. Where did these go? Cloth sacks? Apparently the cloth sacks actually go right here. Okay, so where's the wash basins? in this corner. Oh, stool goes there. Okay, so we've got a basic rustic bathroom. There's our spoil spores. So what am I missing? Oops. Oh. I'm missing a, a sconce right here. Well, I should probably leave that alone, at least for a little while. Otherwise, these things are going to wreck me. Oh! So they actually can appear on your field. Okay, so do we have any other spoil spores just hanging out? Uh, is that it? Did I get them all? I feel like I've missed one somewhere. Ah, there it is. Anything else? There's none down in here, right? Nope, looks like we're good. Oh, and yeah, they're actually... They're actually keeping this pretty well fed. I might as well collect these. I really wish you could actually allocate people a little bit better. And just be like, keep cooking, oh my god, please stop farming. I don't need nearly as much. Well, that's okay. I think everything here is fine. I guess we'll put in the tomato seeds. We can't deal with them right now anyway. Okay, so what am I missing? Floorboards. Oh! There's our answer. Hey. 
kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these extraneous blocks. They're very happy about this. Okay. Now I'm gonna just expand the uh, size just by a bit. Just because this, this current setup is awkward. Let's see. Uh, let me get out of this for just a smidge. Okay. That sugar cane actually grows pretty quickly. Let's see. You know, honestly, just expanding this back a little bit more is more than enough to make it look nice. Okay, so next order of business, we should probably grab a lot of these things and move them. Because I think at this point, we want to get a staircase going here. I'm just going to displace a lot of this stuff. Though, my need to, uh... My need to keep all this stuff looking really nice is kind of abated. Because I can actually, uh, plant grass now, so... Who cares? And I should probably start doing that, too. Let's see. Because I have a whole bunch of grass seed. Oh, right. That's what I wanted to look up. How do I make worm food? Because we learned how to make it from somebody. Oh. Yeah, we learned how to make it from somebody, but... We didn't actually... Bother yet. Okay. Take a look. What's up, you goons? Poor Malroth. You'll figure it out. I do miss my old, like, copper spikes that I used to be able to make. Oh, hey! There's actually a spoil spore right there. But yeah, this moat works beautifully. I was honestly not really expecting this to work out nearly as well as it did. Uh, did it... Did it break? Okay. I guess it was too late on that one, but whatever. Okay, they still down there fighting? Nope, monsters are defeated. Thank you, Malroth. 